It's a beautiful night in Denver, Colorado, and uh, home of Mile High City, home of the best marijuana uh, in the United States. But I'm a little biased, seeing as I, you know, love to smoke it. But I also went to prison for it, so, and that's where, uh, that's what I'm talking about in this video, is that uh, I think it was maybe last week. Joe Biden came out, and look at these people showing out. I don't want to show the address or anything, but uh, that Halloween shit. Imagine taking a hit of acid and they just put that motherfucker up. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> but uh, Joe Biden came out and uh, legalized, or he pardoned federal marijuana cases but only simple possession. And this was just basically a cheap sidestep of Congress or uh, any type of real systematic change on the subject of marijuana. And Biden and Kamala, both of their records on drug enforcement are appalling. And, <clears throat> um, you know, Biden is known for his crime bill in the 90s, but uh, if you are you know, mildly politically aware, Kamal Harris was the Attorney General of California before she was a Senator. I believe she, she held another um, post there, but the, um, she locked up a ton of people for weed. She doesn't want, she doesn't, she's fake as fuck. All these people in this administration are fake as fuck, and they're just looking to basically bribe votes. And, you know, if they can't do it with student loan forgiveness, you know, I owe 50 grand in student loans. I don't even want to ask for it. Oh, those are dead. Sometimes you wind up, there's a dead animal when I'm walking my pooch. But, um, hope you can see me. I'm still ugly. But, um, the, uh, yeah, so I, I am one of the very few people, the reason why I really wanted to even talk about this, I need to be better about uploading videos on this channel, um, as I have a lot of perspective on this, as both just in, you know, jurisprudence itself, because I was like, I was pre-law, working at a lawyer's office, about to go to Sturm Law, and I got arrested with marijuana, my first felony, uh, not simple possession. I had more than that. I had six pounds of pot. But uh, I was in state court. And that was my whole thing. It was like, well, it doesn't really fucking matter what Biden does in the federal, at the federal level. It's getting a little dark here. Because, uh, you know, at the, it, everything's done at the state level. There's a, a street light up here a ways, but. Yeah, everything's done at the street level or at the state level. And um, yeah, it doesn't really matter what the hell is done at the federal level because there's only three districts that, um, there you go, you can see me. I love the fall weather, but three districts that do uh, any federal law enforcement and that's Washington, D.C. Let's go this way. Uh, come on. Native reservations and national parks, and that's it. Um, really, there's not much to be. I think probably total ten thousand cases total over a period of time with marijuana prohibition that has gone back to the like the Stamp Act, the Hemp Tax Stamp Act. And um, I forget exactly the terminology, but nomenclature side, 1933. <clears throat> but beyond my interpretation, both from the legal side and from being a convict, <laughs> both a state and a federal, like a, a three time loser if you count parole bits, um, I, uh, I'm literally a first time marijuana. <laughs> um, offender and I was sent to prison for it. Uh, I'm a white guy, clearly you can tell. You wouldn't know that because this issue is always racialized even though it's completely backwards because actually in this country, it's something that this interpretation that you're never gonna hear is that 
the hardest um, legal enforcement for petty crime, drugs, stuff like that, are in conservative, uh, red, rural, uh, or suburban districts. Um, outside of that, it's chef's kiss swizzle, you know? Um, not a problem to get caught with drugs. I've benefited on both sides. I, I've been arrested with heroin twice in Denver, Colorado, and uh, uh, it, it, both times. One time, it actually, no, it wasn't heroin, it was Opana. It was a, um, the other time was heroin, and, and it got pled down, like right away. They had a, a deal laid out for me. I didn't even have to do shit for it, and um, it was a class A misdemeanor, or class, I believe it's A's, and then it's one through six, I know for felonies. That's all that I get. <laughs> Any more felonies. You don't get misdemeanors after a while. They just go right to prison. And anytime a cop, um, anytime I have an interaction with a cop, I've ever had a warrant. And this is funny. I see these, like these black guys like arguing with cops and shit. Dude, unless you murdered somebody or you raped somebody, your ass is getting out of jail within the next ten years. You're gonna be fine. You need to put your fucking hands behind your back or, or boogie on foot. But don't shoot at a motherfucking cop. <laughs> don't run with a pistol because you can shoot your ass in the back because how you would shoot at a cop if you're on the run like right here in an alleyway whoop, I get to the end of that um, you know that this run get behind that wall and pull out my piece and dump on him as he's running down the um, this alleyway so he's not gonna let you get to that wall he's gonna blow your fucking back out <sighs> And not in the way that, you know, marital sense. Although I may, mean, maybe in San Francisco, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, Biden is just trying to buy votes. He's completely bogus. Um, he needs any type of win, but he's he's not even doing it properly. He's he's skirting past Congress. There is the will and the way to get um, marijuana legalization on the federal level through lots of conservatives love smoking pot they at least don't see it as a um as a, a policing issue they would rather it be a taxing commercial issue which is great we need people because um you want cops to en enforce the laws they're worth enforcing and um less less and less laws you like that society is responsible but in that case, if it's not responsible, um, yeah, it takes getting there. But either way, Biden just wants an election win. He needs anything he can. And he can really go F himself. So, all right, American Archipelago. I'm going to try to do more videos. Um, yep, yeah, peace.